Hello, Joyce Burgess. Good to see you again today. Well, it's always good to see you. It's always good to feel your positiveness, you know, that beautiful <laughs> smile. That's what we need as women, as yes. moms, as families. We need just to be surrounded by positive energy. And Angela, I'm so happy to know you. That's what you offer. That's who you are. Thank well, you. Thank you. I was going to say, and you look cute in your purple today, one of my favorite colors. That's my by birth month color purple Isn't so it? it's always february so that always when i see purple it just lights me up so maybe that's oh, why <laughs> well, i'm so glad you know i shine bright you know we yeah no longer are we hiding our lamps and lights under a bush a bushel that's right shine so that we can bless people with our shine absolutely and give them permission to shine absolutely too. So, hey, we're going to talk about bringing or taking, rather, taking education home. Now, when we say that, we're talking about homeschooling. But, you know, even if your child is in public school, if your child is, you know, in private school, there is a measure of taking education home. It has been said that if you spend five minutes a day with your child, that you are spending more time with your child than if that child was in a normal or a regular classroom situation, parents. Wow. If you just spend five minutes, and guess what? It's an effective five minutes. Mm -hmm. So today, we're gonna to talk about getting started homeschooling, taking education home. I'm Joyce Burgess. I'm here with my wonderful partner and friend and sister, Angela Valentine, who is the absolute best Google certified trainer, not just in the country, but Aww. in the universe. And I Aww, am thank you, Joyce. according to Joyce Burgess, and that <laughs> does mean something. So I appreciate that. Education Home is all about if you've decided that you're going to bring your child home, and you're gonna be involved in your child's education, the National Black Home Educators, visit our website, nbhe.net, and you're gonna see our Getting Started packet. But I wanna read something first that Carter G. Woodson said about education. And we all know who Carter G. Woodson is, right? He's the man who initiated Black History Week ultimately evolved to Black History Month. Carter G. Woodson says, one of my favorite historical, historical people, he said, philosophers have long conceded, however, that every man has two educators. Did you know that, Angela? Every man has two educators, that which is given to him and that and the other rather that which is given to him and the other which he gives himself of the two kinds the latter is by far the more desirable one indeed all that is most worthy in man he must work out and conquer for himself it is that which constitutes our real and best nourishment what we are merely taught seldom nourishes the mind than what we teach ourselves. I have found that so true. It's like I can sit and be fed information or I can feed my children information, but what they learn themselves yes. is far more nourishing. You know, I'm, I have grandchildren now, so many of them. And I feed them sometimes, especially the younger ones. But now that, you know, some of them are three and four years old, I find that they're eating on their own and they're feeding themselves and they're saying, mm. <laughs> you know, they're saying, ooh, ooh, it's good. It's good because they're nourishing themselves. And someone said a long time ago that education is your work. I told my children that I homeschooled five children for 30 some odd years. And I told them when they got to be about fourth grade, I told them education is your work. I have mine. 
That's good. Now it's time for you to get yours. I serve only as a guide for you. But Carter G. Woodson says that education, when you feed yourself or when you give it to yourself, it's like nourishment. And so that's what we want to talk about, parents. We just want you to know that NBHE has a Getting Started Packet. And in this Getting Started Packet that you will find on our website, www.nbhe.net, we give an introduction of Joyce and Eric Burgess. Eric Burgess is my husband, of course. He's the president of the National Black Home Educators. This is me, Joyce Burgess. I'm co-founder and program director. We give, we tell you our story and we kind of talk about the vision and the ministry rather of NBHE, which is to empower parents to educate their children at home for excellence. So take an education home. We answer questions. What is home education? Why should you as a parent be involved in your child's education? You know, learning styles. How, you know, what about different children's learning styles, how to teach more than one child. Will you really make a difference as a parent when you educate your children? And then we take it up. We boost it to the next level because just like exercising, I can pump two pounds on my, uh, you know, I can do two pounds, but it's time to go to the next level. So it's time to do five, Joyce. So getting involved is one thing, but can I homeschool? As a parent, you know, I had that struggle. Can I really homeschool? And once I got over my hurdle of can I homeschooling, can I homeschool? You know, there's so many resources out there and Angela's going to talk about some of that later on. What are some of the advantages of homeschooling? What are some of the challenges of homeschooling? And finally, the most question that people ask is what about socialization? Six basic steps to help you homeschool. We share what those six basic steps are. Find out about, you know, the laws in your state. Choosing a curriculum. The National Black Home Educators is ushering in a whole new mindset about curriculum as it relates to the Black experience because it's not visible in your every day or in your mainstream homeschool publishing curriculum companies, the black experience, the excellence of blackness is not in that curriculum. So we talk about how to choose a curriculum. We talk about making a schedule. You know, what time do I homeschool? What time do I end this? We talk about finding a support group because now that more African-Americans are homeschooling, we need to find people who look like us then we need to come together. We're not exclusive, you know? We just need to come together because no one can tell your story like you can. Then we talk about attending conferences. Of course, with everything that's happened over the last year, we've not been very sociable. We've had to be distant, but we're gradually coming back to gathering in a safe environment. And we wanna talk about how to attend the conference. And then we wanna talk about having fun with homeschooling. When I look back over my experience with my children, I had the best time taking field trips, going to museums, you know, just having a good time without my children. And then tips on scheduling. We give you tips on, you know, how to make your schedule not as rigid, but flexible, because that's what homeschooling is all about. Building relationship with your children and not being bogged down to a schedule. But yet still, you have to understand that scheduling is also a way to just keep things together, keep it together. Thank you, Angela. Uh, and then we talk about a daily schedule. You know, what works for your family? There's a culture in your family. What works for one family may not work for another family. So you need to find what that culture is. What's that vibe in your family so that we can find what works for us and, you know, go on Angela. So we offer some tips on that and then good learning activities, you know, just basic essential things that children need to know, like uh, every black child, or every child, really, every child, but I think every African-American child needs to know the amendments, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. They need to know the national anthem, but they also need to know the national anthem for African-Americans, lift every voice and sing. Uh, they need to know the Bill of Rights. They need to know the seven continents. So take a look at the good learning activities and you know, we're going to talk about that. And then a personal story, once again, talk about how we homeschool and just for 30 years. And I even talk about uh, just what those children are doing at this time and how they're 
continuing the legacy of homeschooling. But you know what? We want to add something else to homeschooling. The digital aspect of homeschooling, now that we're all in this virtual space, right? We want to talk about why that is important because we have all of this at our fingertips. Literally, you can just tap this and it's all there. And Angela is going to talk about that. So go ahead, Angela, and um, tell us why digital and technology, why is that important to the homeschool getting started parent? Well, I think, Joyce, that we've all had a <laughs> trial by fire <laughs> this last year. So yes. if we didn't, I know Joyce and I were on here and we we're telling you the sky is falling, the sky is falling with this technology. Let's get a hold of it. Let's, you know, implement it. Let's learn it. Let's use it. And then when the sky fell, <laughs> we all were forced into the digital realm on a dime, right? And we had to all figure it out. So one reason technology is important, I, I always say to Joyce behind the scenes when we're not on camera that, you know, things are not going back to the way they were. This past year has changed everything. So moving forward, I think if we had not had the pandemic, then we would have just kind of continued on the road, but the pandemic accelerated so many things, especially in the digital realm. So one of the things that we are glad that we would had laid the foundation with within NBHE is the digital platform and bringing some of the tools that are free and accessible online to any parent that is teaching, supplementing lessons, um, or just doing this full time. There are so many free resources that are quality that are available and that are accessible to all the parents and the kids. And that's what we bring to the um, platform now. Um, we're implementing week by week, we're having some type of digital lesson with the kids coming together and they're getting online, they're learning these online platforms for yes. classroom work. And you know, I, it is my goal to make sure every parent knows how to get online, find quality content and be able to work in this digital space in this time because it's no longer an option. It's a necessity, Joyce. Absolutely. And what you offer and suggest is parent navigable, right? Yes. It's easy. I mean, I feel like if I can learn something, anybody can learn it because, you know, yes. it's it's just easy and, and it just offers such a, it just takes your homeschool space into such a new level and your yes. children will love it. You know, yes. a lot of times parents say, well, my children are bored with homeschooling, but this opens up that level of uh, excitement and inspiration. It just opens the imagination of yes. a child so until they they want to learn and they want to take education into their own um they want to give it to themselves like carter yes. g woodson said they yes. want to nourish themselves with homeschooling right. nourish and that's why the national black home educators started the nbhe nurturing series for these new parents the path which is the parents as teachers at home and then the coding with friends, which is bringing parents and children into that virtual space. Yes. And then I shine bright. Parents, moms, dads, you need to know what your gifting is. Well, you know, you need to be able to encourage yourself and say, I can do this. I have the courage to do this. I'm fierce. I have prowess. Mm -hmm. I am remarkable. I'm outstanding. I can do this for myself and for my children. So having said that, we want to say bye. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email us at contact at nbhe.net. Visit our website at www.nbhe.net. Angela, you want to give your email address? Yes, you can reach me at advscholars at gmail.com. That's advscholars at gmail.com. We have something going on all the time, curriculum to share all the time, reach out to us at any time. We'll be glad to assist. Absolutely. And take a look at that getting started packet. All right. Take care. Awesome. Bye, Angela. Thank you. Bye, Joyce.